Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle. And before the 2021 Arnold Classic is even over, I am doing comparisons with Nick Walker. I do believe that he will be the champion. They're going to raise his hand up high, and I believe it will be Steve Kuklo placing second. But of course, guys, I will let you know exactly who won and who placed where. But Nick Walker, did he improve? Has he improved since the New York Pro? I would say absolutely. Now, keep in mind, these... The camera angles are tilted a little bit different, but I would wager to say the way that it is tilted, it would not increase the size of his legs at the Arnold Classic, and I would wager to say that they are bigger. Now, in particular, it is his right quad, I do believe. Yes, his right quad. He got some criticism. It was a little smaller than his left one. Look, guys, it looks like he has fixed that, at least, you know, I, I do believe, and I think upper body-wise, it just looks like he means a little bit more business as well. Looks like he's a couple pounds heavier, guys, just as uh, tight in the conditioning. Could be trouble for anybody heading into the Olympia. Go to the front lat spread, and unfortunately, don't go by this one. Don't go by this one for the Arnold Classic. Unfortunately, this... And actually, a rear lat spread is hard to get a hold of. And that, that was the case a couple of years ago. You couldn't find a front or rear lat spread of Nick Walker. But anyway, look at that right quad. You see that? Looks like he has fixed that for sure, guys. Anyway, as you turn to the side, that is the quad that is displayed. And looky loose, guys. Not only in the quad, but look he has a hanging hamstring now. Now, this makes his side chest much more competitive. You can see his far delt there. Even the far pack looks a little bit more three-dimensional, round. He's opened up more at the New York, and that's probably maybe a good thing. That's probably why some of you might think he looks better at the New York. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's just opened up a little bit more. But if, if you know what you're looking for and you know what you're looking at, he's much better now. That's incredible. Go to the side tricep and this is what this is what I mean. He's opening up more at the New York. He's showing more of his pec. But look at the Arnold's classics, the three dimension of the far pec. He's bigger. His, his midsection looks a little bit more peeled, if anything. Peeled. And that quad separation, hamstring. I can't believe it. I mean, the guy improved tenfold from his first, what, what did he, have? the Chicago, the Chicago. He improved from the Chicago to the New York. And then boom, here at the Arnold Classic, guys. Wow, wow, this guy could make history. Not only, he's already, here's the first of the two back shots. Not only is he going to make history if he wins the Arnold Classic on his debut, but he could be the first man ever since Larry Scott to win the uh, Olympia on his debut. Now, I showed the rear double first because the rear lat is a write-off, like I said. Look at the lat insertions, guys. Look at the traps, ladies and gentlemen. His legs are opened up far more. They're opened up more. I don't want to say it's better. He has them opened up much more at the uh, New York, so... They might end up looking a little bit bigger. I don't think they're... If anything, they're smaller to tell you the truth, at least the right quad anyway, at least the right leg, even in the hamstring. Anyway, guys, this is what I have for the rear lat. And it's, it doesn't look like he's a, he's finished striking the pose or it's just a bad angle altogether for the Arnold classics get to the chopper. But it do, it does look like he is, he's not opening up his quad as much as he used to. And is that a good thing, bad thing? Who knows? Who knows? I think he's going to win the show, regardless or irregardless. But I don't know. I failed English. Grammar? Is that what it is? Spelling? Yeah. Anyway. Abs and thigh shot, guys. And this is what excites me the most. His midsection. If anything, it, it, it looks better. Well, I don't know. It looks good. It looks still looks good. I think it's his V-taper. His lats? His lats look bigger. You see that? Incredible. Incredible. This guy is a freight train. And here's what I mean about that quad. Look at his right quad here. It looks much more symmetrical. The guy means business. And like Sean Ray said in a, a little interview uh, with Ron Harris, he said the guy has no holes. And he has no holes. 
No holes in this game whatsoever. And I'm telling you right now, guys, this is a, a serious contender for the Olympia crown. And this is the most muscular. Quad, perfect. Two quads, perfect. They're the same. You know, Now you look at the New York, one smaller. Fix that. Look at the, the, the guy's a beast. His head looks smaller. And you know what I say? When your head looks smaller, it means your body's bigger. Look at the delts on the guy. I mean, he's as big as a, a barn door, like Tominator says. He's as big as the barn. Never mind the door. <laughs> he would not be able to fit through the door. <laughs> Here's a different most muscular. And the guy is so impressive. Nick Walker. He's making history right now as we speak. Guy's ripped. Guy's peeled. And he fixed the only real criticism that he got. And that is his, his right quad was a little bit smaller and unsymmetrical. Wow, wow. Tremendous, guys. Look for him to win the Arnold Classic. And this is a, a, a new addition to Nick Walker. It's a crab position, guys. And I don't know why he didn't hit it before. Because guess what? He looks tremendous. With this in his arsenal, now he can, you know finish off the most musculars at that Olympia lineup. Think about it. You got Hattie Shupin. You got uh, Big Rammy, Brandon Curry all snapping their final most muscular. And then you got the new cat, Nicholas Walker. Nice symmetrical quads there. Boom. Fantastic. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys, and look forward to the future of bodybuilding. Nick Walker and some more advancements at the Olympia. And, of course, I will let you know if and when he does win the uh, Arnold's Classics. Hey, it could be Steve Kuklo. You never know. Have a great day, guys.